Hello all, this is Trish Simner. I'm a voting member on the Clinical and Laboratory Standards Institute Antimicrobial Susceptibility Testing Subcommittee and a member on the CLSI Breakpoint Implementation Working Group. I'm very excited to be introducing the Breakpoint Implementation Toolkit, also known as the 2023 BIT. This that is freely available on the CLSI website. The BIT was a joint initiative between CLSI, the Association of Public Health Laboratories, the American Society for Microbiology, the College of American Pathologists, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. It was created to assist clinical laboratories in updating minimal inhibitory concentration breakpoints. As a reminder, clinical laboratories performing antimicrobial susceptibility testing should you use breakpoints currently recognized by CLSI or the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. So what exactly is the BIT? The BIT is a streamlined toolkit provided to guide performance of a verification or validation study required to update breakpoints. The BIT is broken down into the introduction as well as into seven parts, parts A through G, where parts A through G include the breakpoint in use template. This is a template to document the breakpoints in use in your clinical laboratories. It helps you assess whether the breakpoints you're using are the current breakpoints or not. Part B is the CLSI versus FDA breakpoints, which is a listing of current CLSI breakpoints and corresponding FDA breakpoints, which then allows you to assess whether the breakpoints you identified in your breakpoints in use template is um, current with CLSI or FDA breakpoints. Part C is a breakpoint implementation summary. This is a template for documenting results of your verification or validation study as appropriate to update breakpoints in your laboratory. Part D is the CDC and FDA AR Bank bit isolate sets. These are AR Bank isolate sets available for use in breakpoint verification and validation studies as outlined in the bit. Part E is the instructions for use and part F is an Excel pre-built Excel workbook to complete your verification or validation study calculations using these AR Bank isolates, uh, including calculations for categorical agreement, essential agreement, and, and calculation of categorical error types. The Excel spreadsheet uh, has underlying formulas to help calculate these uh, performance characteristics, uh, and they're associated with the CDC, FDA, AR Bank isolate sets. Part G is a blank form for data entry. This spreadsheet can be used for validations or verifications using isolates other than those listed in the AR Bank bit set inc included in this toolkit. This is simply a template. There are no underlying formulas. You can download the entire contents of the bit by pressing this download toolkit and you could uh, save it to your computer. So let's dive into the introduction of the Breakpoint Implementation Toolkit. So I'm going to click on the hyperlink here on the website. So this is, again, just a little bit of information or background information about the Breakpoint Implementation Toolkit. It also summarizes the contents of the toolkit. Um, and there are hyperlinks to these individual contents as shown here. So if you click on it, it will pull up the individual contents as if you were on the website and um, clicking on the hyperlinks there as well. There is instructions on how to use the Breakpoint Implementation Toolkit. I think most importantly, there's this really nice um, flowchart summarizing the pathway to updating breakpoints in clinical laboratories. Um, there's links to the individual components or parts of the toolkit within the flowcharts as appropriate. And it breaks down breaks it down into breakpoint assessment. So what breakpoints are you using in your lab? Are you using current breakpoints or not? And then how do you proceed with a breakpoint verification or validation update study? And that's um, highlighted in the second component is uh, performance of that breakpoint validation slash verification study. So going back to the bit introduction itself, in addition to uh, instructions for use, there's also some important definitions such as verification and validation. And this nice table that breaks down the situations where 
breakpoint verification or validation is required to update, uh, to use updated CLSI breakpoints. It breaks it down by the status of the breakpoints, the status of your commercial AST device, and the type of study required, whether that be a verification or a validation, and the number of isolates to include within those studies. Further down, you'll find important resources for breakpoint updates, including a hyperlink to the most up-to-date CLSI documents, which includes uh, the current CLSI breakpoints. This, these are freely available on the CLSI website, as well as a hyperlink to the FDA breakpoints found on the Susceptibility Test Interpretive Criteria, or FDA STIC website, in addition to other resources that can be pertinent to helping you with updating your breakpoints through a verification or validation study. Last, there are some nice references here addressing potential negative impact of using obsolete breakpoints and references addressing understanding breakpoint updating. I hope you're all as excited as I am to have the bit available to laboratories as a resource to help with updating breakpoints. Individual members of the working group will cover each of these parts in further detail in subsequent video tutorials. Thanks so much for listening.